Daisy has dropped the nuke. With the update, everything is gone. Everything anyone has built is gone. Every survivor has lost everything. Welcome to a new season of Daisy Therapy. In this season, we pick up with one of our favorite survivors. Her name happens to be Daisy. You know, like the flower. She was loved in season one. Now, she wakes up disoriented in a field. How long can she survive? Enjoy. What is good, everybody? Sawsome. Back with our girl Daisy in Daisy, and she sleeps with her eyes open. If you've been following this series, it's been a whole lot of fun. We are on our way um, to a base building location that I have selected and we want to build a steakhouse. I did a little inventory management. Um, here's what I dropped on the floor, a couple things. Uh, we've decided to go with the bandana. There's a couple other things I dropped. I don't know where they are. Oh no, I just rearranged. So we have about 40 spaces available in our inventory. Um, and so that is cool. Let's check what we need for the base. We're gonna need wire and pliers. Wire, pliers. And do we have a box of nails? I forget, I don't think so. Uh, so wire, plier, and nails. Actually, I think we might have some in our teddy bear. And if we named the teddy bear, I forgot, yeah we do, okay. And if we named the teddy bear, I forgot what the name was. So, a little case of amnesia due to the stress. Uh, you gotta let me know, let's rename the teddy bear. I know in, was it season one, we named the teddy bear Yogi Berezino. That was clever by OG Wakanobi. So we want to hit these sheds, we want to find wire pliers, we want to head north. And the goal is, by the end of next episode, that that steakhouse is up. And if I have to do a couple jump cuts, I will. Or just a long episode, how about that? About longer than 30, 40 minutes. That's the goal. It's going to be tough to pull it off. Uh, we got a little ground to cover. I'm, I'm pretty much heading straight north, slightly east. Um, but then I can finally bury this dry bag that I have. Whatever, whichever it is, dry sack. And um, be a little more mobile. And we'll have a steakhouse, y'all. That's her goal. It's The series is PvE. I'm not trying to shoot people. It is a public server, though. It's just an official... Daisy server, so there are other dudes running around. Uh, we're pretty far north, man. Oh, yes! Yes! Pliers is one of the things on our checklist. I think wire might be it. I know we got rope. Uh, I'm gonna drop this bag right here so I can take care of these dudes. What, what weapons do I got? Cute. Oh, I got the Sword of the North. Dude, this is so cool. I don't think you can execute, though. No. It's just a nasty weapon. Okay, we might have a situation here. Or not, the sword's gonna take them all. Ah, but I swung way too freaking early. We do have a situation, we're gonna take care of that bleed. We're gonna take care of that bleed. Okay. I got scared. All right, we got wi we got pliers straight out of the gate. So now I think all we need is wire. Nails, saws, tons of sharpening stones, rope, uh, a pickaxe for the digging. We're in good shape. See if these waste fellows are still around. And another. See what he's got in a second. We do have a fair amount of food and we are full. It's all canned foods, which is nice. Yeah, he is coming. Which way? All right. Dude, Sword of the North is so nice. So cool. All right, what she got? Oh, can of Sketty. Like I said, we got about 40 spaces. 
It should be sunrise, I think. Alright, let's go check the shed and this toilet. And then I gotta check my compass and go back for my bag. If someone stole that bag, that would be devastation. I don't want that. Okay. Yeah, let's keep the bag close. Heard him. Where'd he go? Maybe he's in a building or something. Okay, compass. North is that way. Okay, so we actually will loot the town to the south. And I just don't like leaving this bag right here. It's too important. Okay, so let's loot up this way and then we'll head north. So we're. We'll just kind of loot the outskirts of the town. I don't want to spend too too long. Let's leave the bag between these two ferns. Between two ferns. Just drop it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, there's a town not far to the north we can loot. Oh, there's two dudes here and two dudes there. I want to hit the one with the visor. Ah, oh, dang it. I wonder if the sharpening stones, they better fix the... fix the sword. You know, like, you can't fix a... sledgehammer. The sword better be fixable. It would make sense that you could fix it with a sharpening stone. Let's go wire or barbed wire. Is what we're looking for. Okay. Dude, dude. Again. All right, I gotta get out of this town, man. I'm getting sick of it. There's a lot of zombies here. I think I got two stacks of pristine rags, and my and Daisy's getting uh, cold, which is not good. We gotta fix our clothing, maybe. That could be fixed. Okay, let's go in here and see if we can fix our clothes. Um, is it the sewing kit or the leather kit? Which one fixes the vest? The tape? Okay, well, we're gonna have to worry about that later. Okay, let's do a quick loop. We put in the work to clear it. Let's at least look for some sheds around here. I'm not very interested in looting the houses, just the sheds. There's a couple over there. Check these, and then get out of here. Let's go wire. Wrench. Okay, there's an outhouse there, a shed there. Those are the three, and then we're out of here. I'm hearing more, like a lot more zombies. This is what we're going to convert, one of these. That's the idea, if it cooperates. Building just like that. Okay, that guy's going to run at me. Just peek in here. Alright, and we're done in this town. Dang it. All right, let's go to get our two ferns and carry on to the north. 
We gotta find a road at the north end of town. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Well, we found pliers. That's huge. I think that I think now there's usually something that I overlook. But according to my calculations, I think all we need. Let's check the orienteering compass. North, okay. So north. The road should be that way. Yep, just past the church. Okay. According to my calculations, I think all we need is a wire. I think that's all we need. Amazing. Here we go. We're gonna hit the road, and in a couple minutes, we'll be at uh, Vavino, Vavono, something like that. Valvono, I think it's called. Looks like Valvono. And we'll loot that town, then we'll hit the railroad tracks, and after that, we'll just kind of pick loot our way, not really hit any towns until we get to our build location. So it won't probably won't be this episode, but next episode, the goal is. The goal is to get that build done this week, so Thursday. Should be awesome. All right, topic for the uh, road. Um, what's your go-to? Let's do two things. Your realistic daily breakfast. Is it realistically? Is it a chewy granola bar and a coffee or something dumb? What do you do on a daily basis for breakfast? Do you skip it? Um, do you usually do something like? quick like a pop tart toast um like i said i think a lot of if you're a parent you probably grab a chewy granola bar or something dumb coffee no coffee what is your routine in the morning and then what is your ideal breakfast i think ian said some of the people in england what is it called there's a phrase for it where it's like just a mega breakfast if you know what that's called put it in the comments for me, it is typically something caffeinated, and sometimes that's it. Sometimes just a coffee, and if I'm being honest, sometimes like a low-carb monster or something. And sometimes that's it, depending on what the day has. And then other days, I t I've kind of already tipped my hand um, by projecting onto you guys what I do with the, uh, the chewy, stupid granola bar. Oh man, I hear it. That's not a cow, is it? A cow is begging to be my first steak. Let's keep an ear out. Is that a cow that I hear? I'm a little surprised that this is Valvino so quick. It's making me a little uneasy that we're going the wrong way, but I think it does have some farms, some houses out that way. And it sounds like I'm heading towards that animal. I think we might get our first steak, guys. We might not be able to carry a ton of it, but beef steaks are the ultimate goal. And I think I hear it. Yeah, this is it. That's the orchard. Okay, that was a quick run. Let's see if we can find this cow. Okay, if it is a cow, it's not moving fast or going far. So let's keep looking at sheds in hopes of... That's a cow, right? In hopes of... I saw something. It's probably a zombie. Oh. Okay, what do we got? A zombie chasing a cow. That's our first steak right there, guys. Let's drop our dry bag here. How many zombies are we dealing with? Just the one? Okay. The thing about that is I'm going loud. It's going to be tricky to loot after that. 
Maybe we loot about first and get the cow last. Let these guys have their fun. How many are there? Looks like there was one zombie and then two joined in. I do have this gun. It's gonna be hard to... There's a bunch of cows. I'd kind of like to kill the zombies so that they quit chasing the cows away. Oh, crap. Maybe the sword of the north is the easier bet. Leave my cows alone. <laughs> Leave my cows alone. Bro. I don't want some nasty, funky cows. Okay, that commotion was just too much to deal with. Okay, now the cows are chilling. We should be good to loot, and then we'll get the cow on the way out. Play the long game. Okay, let's loot this quick, though. We'll go out to this road and work our way back real quick. Real quick. And hope no one shoots my cow. And hope no one takes my, my bag. I have um, anxiety, like separation anxiety from that bag right now. Are any of you that person at like Walmart, shopping center, neighborhood market, or grocery store, and like when you have a uh, cart full of groceries, you're a little nervous to like walk away from it very far because you're a little worried someone will grab something out of it. Is that a thing? Like, like you keep it close to you, even though you don't own the stuff yet. Like, because maybe you think an employee will walk away with it and put it, start putting stuff back. Anyone? Or is that not, not a thing? Because I used to do that. I haven't done that in a while, but I used to be like, in a, okay, I got to walk to that other aisle. It's kind of a little bit crowded, so I'm going to leave the cart here. But when I leave it, I'm like, shoot, I hope no one takes my cart. I hope no one oh, grabs my um, Diet Coke out of the cart. Oh, I hope an employee doesn't walk away with this. Oh, I feel so irresponsible leaving this cart behind. Am I the only one? I don't feel that way as much now as I used to. It looks like I got two. I should be able to deal with two. Two third cut of the day. That stinks, man. Maybe it was just me. And like I said, I don't remember those feelings lately. It's more an older thing. Let's get, let's loot this town and get our gear and get out of here. A saw, we don't need that. The cow is still mooing, that's good. Looking for sheds, I don't see that many up here actually. I did alert some zombies to my presence, or a zombie. Is she coming at me? She is. I feel like there's a couple more, but I don't see them yet. Another sharpening stone. Dang, I think that makes five or six. Dude, some people like loot the whole map looking for those. I'll be like, oh, what do you need? Oh, I need sharpening stones, big time. Still moving. Cool. Yeah, and like I was pointing out, this is the type of building we're gonna make the restaurant. Is the plan? Put a gate outside it. A hatchet, but it's pretty badly damaged. We already have a hatchet. I don't remember ever finding wires in a, in one of those grow houses. There's an outhouse over there. Don't see any more sheds on this side of town. I, and I don't think, I don't know if I found wire at an outhouse. 
rope, but we don't need it. Uh, we didn't set our dry bag, our dry sack between two ferns. We set it between two hay bales. Important to note. Let's go find it. Okay. No wire. We can peek in this barn right here. Right, let's shoot this dude and alert anybody in the area that we're here. So let's shoot it, cut it. Just grab a few stakes to be potentially our first stakes. It's hard to carry everything until we get there. And we can bury that extra gear. Let me find my bag just so I can get out of here quickly. I don't want to be looking for my bag while I've made some noise. Right here. Between two... Oh, dude. Oh, wow. Okay, let's cut it up with the sword. Gives me a little cover here, too. Here we go, steakums for days, y'all. Who's gonna eat these first steaks? Beef steaks. Nice. Alright, we cut up that guy, got some steakums, and now we gotta hit the road. I should double check my direction. It's gotta be the way opposite that we came in. Let me go in here and get my compass out. It's gotta be to my right as I stand right here. I would like to fix... Oh uh, yeah, yeah, so it's that way. Oops. I would like to fix my vest, but I just went really loud. It was only one shot, so it would be tricky to hone in on it. Usually you need, people need to hear a few shots, like so they can be like, oh, did you hear that? Yeah, where was it? Oh, let's listen. But still, that Mosin is crazy loud. All right, so there actually should be train tracks. Yeah, there's some tracks. We could hit the train tracks now. A little premature, but we we had that unexpected gunshot. Hmm. Unexpected that we shot. <laughs> uh, looks like there's a few things to loot out this way. But I think I need to just move. All I need is wire, man. Nice sunrise. Beautiful day. Um, okay, we got a few zombies. I don't know if they spawn down there. I kind of don't think so, and I don't really want to make trouble. So we're going to sort of run parallel to the railroad. Yeah, maybe... It's still a bit of a, a ways. I was going to say, maybe we even try to get there, and then find the rest of what we need there. Let's just be opportunistic. Let's just keep moving in the right direction. And see what happens. Ooh, a shovel, but we don't need it, do we? Because we have the pickaxe. So, tempting. I hope I don't need that. I'm pretty sure the pickaxe is good to go. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'll show you where I am briefly. There we are. We want to actually go straight north, pretty much. Alright, well, 
Literally, finding the pliers has made it a good day. Getting the beef is a bonus. But it's funny in this game that finding a pair of pliers is a good day. That's why it's a great game. That's why we love it. it took, lost some blood though. I gotta get that blood back up. Got plenty of food. Maybe should eat some sketty soon. Just keep it totally maxed out. Take just that much weight out of my backpack. It's a tiny bit, but everything helps. And keep that inventory there, especially now that I found those stakes. Alright, we got um, a few buildings up here. Maybe we'll find our wire. If you know what I'm forgetting, let me know in the comments. I think just to make one fence, box of nails. I think I even have an axe. I have a hatchet to use as a hammer. Pickaxe. Flyers. Beautiful country up here. Beautiful country. Yeah, about breakfast. It is. Um, Seven-ish in the morning right now. And I am drinking... Uh, low carb monster but I'm gonna stop drinking those soon at least like just have them on like special occasions you know like long road trips stuff like that okay okay having some problems and these would be cool too two fences would make this a base you have the window slots people could shoot through and I don't know that I anticipate this steakhouse standing forever. Someone, because it's a converted building, it's pretty far north and fairly remote, that it, the place that I'm planning. But someone's bound to find it and probably tear it apart. But even if we just get a couple uses out of it, we've accomplished our dream. And maybe it'll stand a long time, maybe. Alright, so these tracks aren't going to take us where we want to go, but there's a certain point that we turn and head straight north. And that takes us where we want to go. Let's go wire. More cows, man. zombies can I avoid him probably not he's probably gonna see me definitely want to loot that shed yeah he sees me ah I was feeling so good about that timing there until I actually hit the button okay, well that was not bad Carry my bag around the country. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Nah. Nah. I'm glad I dropped the shotgun earlier in the series and kept the Mosin in, in hindsight. At the time, I, I had some regret. But now, I'm glad I got that Mosin. It's pretty nice. I want to stay close to the tracks. Got a little turned around here. I'm going to check the compass. I think it's left, but yes, it is. Okay. Don't want to pull a Lloyd Christmas and drive a sixth of the way across the country in the wrong direction. All right, that town there is... Tropolin... Tropolinky. Tropolinky and um, I'll duck in a house. We're not far from where we want to jet north.
Oh, I see the stand. Okay. Yeah, we haven't hit the blue trail yet. At least as of finding that stand. Alright, we're on track. We are on track. And I think I will take the blue trail just to get me closer to buildings in case we hear the wolves. We're ready to eat. Split the difference here and cut diagonal. Nope, not gonna do that. Because we need to hold, head east, north, and then that'll pretty much do it. So I'm tempted to sort of split the difference. I know we're heading that way. But I also want to be on a sure track to some buildings. And I am if I stay on this. So let, let's go slow and steady wins the race. The tortoise beats the hare every time so let's let's stay here then that way if we hear the howls i know i can sprint straight ahead i can drop the bag sprint straight ahead and be in a building in not too long and i don't have ideal weaponry to fight the wolves the the mosin would have four shots left in it and it's slow slow i, I have the handgun uh, i mean barely those things take take three or four shots each oh crap scared the crap out of me okay so good news bad news situation there is a little bit of a gas zone in the route we were gonna go and that was it probably right there but we can avoid it easily I wonder how our shoes are doing right, they looked okay I'll check them when I get to a safer location <laughs> well, dang it. Now I'm really tempted to head straight north, but it's a shot through the woods with no buildings. So let's just stick to the route, man. We'll dodge the gas zone when we see it. actually happy to see some buildings. Maybe we find our wire there. Looks like there's some sheds. Yeah, we are far north. Almost to the rim. Love this game. A lot of rumbling and scary sounds. Let's go wire. Tripod. That would be cool. I don't want to carry it now, but that would be cool given what we're trying to do. But once we establish a restaurant and have folks coming in and out, maybe we can we could definitely barter. Cool. Well, we know where we are, no question. So that's good. North. I'm almost tempted to make this the steakhouse right here. I just feel like this one might be found out a little easier than the one I'm heading to. That's a cool car though. Crowbar. Crowbar could come in handy. Can I carry it, though? 
Okay, don't want to do that. I don't. I think I'm pretty full. Let's um, eat some sketty. Yeah, let's eat some sketty. Probably drop some like the bones that I have and dumb stuff. I don't know if I need the crowbar. I think I'll just leave it. It's good for pulling the, the thing apart if you make a mistake, but I think the hatchet might do that as well. Um, let's eat this other can of Sketty. All right, ate the sketty. Let's uh, let's hit the road and get there. And if we can, we'll check some of these some of these sheds along the way. But I'm really eager to get there now. Really eager. I did leave behind that crowbar, but that's okay. Let's cross the other. No, we can stay on this side of the street. Got that zombie there. Um, can we climb a fence? No. Go the long way. Yeah, you know what? Let's just book it up there. I don't want to fight a bunch of zombies right now. Well, it looks like we might fight them anyway. One's on to me. Get my sword. One shot. Sweet. Head north. That does. Nice. Dude, the sword is legit. It seems to hit with like the same force as the same killing power as the sledgehammer, but it will also open up a wound, you know, if, if it's a player. So that's a pretty nasty weapon. Let's go wire. Let's go wire. Duct tape, not bad. Already got some. Alright, back on the road to the north. It covered a lot of ground today. Holy smokes. Did not expect to get all the way up here today. I'm sure this will end up being... Uh, this could be a lot of zombies in there. Let's get out of this area. This could end up being a long episode, but that's okay. And then hopefully the goal will be next episode, pending that wire... Uh, build the steakhouse. The steakhouse is a glorious term for one fence. And an oven. But even if the oven has to wait, we can cook on an open fire. Okay, look, there is gas right there. So we don't want any part of that. Don't want any part of that. Not after all we've gone through. It's been a long road, man. A lot of episodes. Okay, look, sweet. It looks like there's something here. 
Don't want to get lost now. There's a swooping road. Yeah, that's the green path, I'm thinking. Thinking that's the green path. Is that the green path? Yeah, it's got to be the green path. I'm, I'm right in the area, guys. Yeah, it's got to be right up here. It's got to be one of these. I think. Very exciting. Where's the gas zone? I don't see it. Oh, there. Is that it right there? Okay, cabin. There's a dude there. This could be it right here, guys. I think this is... Ha <laughs> Yeah, this is the steakhouse. I was going to laugh so hard if it was locked. This is the steakhouse, guys. We have arrived. Now all we need to do is get our hands on a wire. And we can convert this bad boy into the steakhouse. Daisy Steakhouse from all... How long has it been since we brought this up? Well, she's run a lot. She's going to have a lie down now. And next episode, we'll try to complete the build. This is so awesome. Thanks for watching. We're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. Thank you for letting me be a part of your day. Hopefully, I made it a little bit better. If you're enjoying this series, check out the playlists on my channel. There are a lot of other creative playthroughs for this game.